Good evening, everyone. Psychotic Butcher here. Halloween is upon us, and we are going to be up to some fun. We have a couple things going on here. This is our Roman build. This is going to be our shop area. We're not going to do that today, though. We have in our inventory, you see there, some uh, Hermitrons. And I have one for everyone. Sort of like a uh, Halloween treat bag here. So there's Super Turtles. AZs, bit of Garvias, Scoozy, Darth. Oh, that's Bill Mongers. Oh, go away, zombie. You're ruining my video. Get, all, get out of here. Die. Build Mongers and then Darths. All right. I'm not going to show you what's in those. If you want to see what I'm gifting to everybody, you will have to go watch their videos and the links to their channels are in the description below. Please make sure you go check them out. Get out of here, zombie. I don't want to play. Go away. Ah, a jerk. So yeah, if you want to see what this is, go check out their videos, okay? We have some stuff here today. First, we have this warp stone. The other night I was doing some off-camera work, just getting stuff ready, and um, Darth showed up, and we got to talking, and he helped me set up a waystone. Well, what a waystone is, this thing over here. You can set it, set it up various places, and you can do traveling, instant traveling. So we have this set up, uh, and that zombie's going to come over here and ruin everything. Yep, here he comes. Oh, look at that lag. Go away. We also uh, upgraded the server until we're doing a new client of Foolcraft. There's a couple changes, not much, but it seems I'm having a little bit of issue with the uh, connection on it. That's okay, we'll figure that out. Way The warp stone is part of the waypoints mod, or the waystone mod. There we go. So I have a few of these set up. This is mine, the butcher shop. Then we have Darths, AZs, uh, Super Turtle. I couldn't get the others because they have their claims, their chunks claimed. And then the Roman build. So if we do this, we go back to our place. Yay. I've done a little bit of decorating. The uh, jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. Here's my waist stone. That over there I'll show you in a second. Some stuff I've been doing off camera trying to get things set up. You know, this bag here for projects. Now, this uh, the warp stone it has a cooldown. It's quite long, so I'm going to try and get some more. Uh, the, no, there we go. Take some ender uh, pearls, and I don't have any, so that's some purple dye. We're going to get some more of that later and see if I can craft a couple of these. Um, I'm not sure if they link or if they're individual. So I've been busy. In here we have, I looked at the different armors. Of course, we have the obsidian armor, but we have this armor. Oh, well, I'll just do that. That works too. There it is. So we have this armor. Take this off, put this on, and this with two pieces or more feeds you with, you know, takes the durability off the armor, but it feeds you. That means while you are in this, you do not have to eat. I'd rather have the obsidian armor, which is almost dead. Get that back on there. Then we have this here. This is the uh, glass armor. You can do different colors. I chose to do black, and I'll show you why. But with this on... Yep, that's right. Invisibility. So I can go around and sneak up on people and they won't see me. But while you're wearing it, you have invisibility. I, yeah, it's, I think it's two pieces or more. Yep, two pieces or more and gives you invisibility. So we can still have our slime boots on. And we'll do this. But as soon as we do that, you'll be able to see the pants and the boots. Dang it. Alright, so there's a bunch of different armors in there in this mod. I don't know how many of them we're going to try. They all give you different abilities. These are just the ones I, I liked. So, 
we'll move on. Alright. I'll go up here. Like I said, I've been very busy in between episodes. Got a Rubik's Cube. We got some nest, um, egg nests, some nesting pins, and we're gonna, I'm getting prepared when I move to my, my permanent base to set up the uh, hatchery mod to get some chickens going. I have some more in here. I have a, now, if you look there, it says destabilize redstone mini moo. That's the fluid cows. That's part of the update. They are now mini moos. And I'll show you. So instead of full size cow, they are mini. Come on. There it is. There you go. And what's really cool about this, not only is the size difference, makes for more compact stuff, it now shows you, instead of just saying fluid cow, it says what it is. So that comes in really handy. Get over here. Like I said, I'm having some issues with the lag. So that's that. Let's move on up here. I organized all these Hermitrons for the actual Hermitron mod. Uh, I'm still not quite sure. It's just a uh, scoring system. But you have different tribes and that are different rarities. So one through nine and then zero. So I have all these lined up. And as I go through the world and find them, I bring them back here and sort them all out. Found another meteor. We have all this stuff in here. More animal nests. Here's all my moo cows. Mini moos. I got some plans for those too once we get to our permanent base. Alright. I got I upgraded these because I started running out of room. What I want to do here, show you what's in here. Nope, oh, wrong one. Show you what's in this one. Stuff and pro yeah, projects, this one. This is just all miscellaneous stuff from gathered, but right here in this border of stake, these are our projects. So we have mob fan, bag opener, some conduits, and this I'm going to pull out. Um, this is all for the mob farm that we're going to do the uh, loot bag farm for the slime island. And then this here kind of a mess. This here, we are going to go upgrade some stuff real quick. In the last couple episodes, I didn't do any of the quests. I realized that after uh, going back while I was editing them. So we have a couple quests to do today too, just to get caught up. So in here, we want to replace tool station. I'll just put a forge on the end. So a tool forge is so how you can make even more weapons. It holds different patterns and stuff. And you have different colors, but what I chose is the iron forge. So it takes four blocks of irons, a tool station, and uh, some bricks. I need a tool station. Where is my... I could have swore I had a tool station. Oh, I have a crafting bench. Oh boy. All right. We'll get a tool station here real quick. Uh, that's part builder. That's a stencil table. Oh, oh. There, yep, yep. There we go. All right. Tool station becomes a tool forge, just like that. I wonder if we put this down on the end. Can you still? No. All right. Tool station is gone. And oh, so I upgraded this with the uh, platinum head. It gives you see the top one, second one down. Global traveler, and down towards the bottom it says global traveler is currently enabled. It sends it to a chest when you mine it and pick it up. So I don't know how to disable that. I wish I did because everything gets deposited here. See, I was down mining, just doing some strip mining and. All this cobble just appeared in this chest. All this stuff here is for railcraft. Um, while I was out exploring and going to different people's bases, I found some villages that had uh, some railcraft buildings. So I looted those, brought them back. I don't know if I'll get into that mod because we can fly. We really don't need it, but you know, it might be some project for down the road. 
Okay, the difference between the tool table and the tool forge. Now we have a bunch of different things. We got a shuriken, darts, crossbow. Crossbows are really OP if you can build them right. Um, I think it is that one. The cleaver, yeah. The cleaver is what we want to build. Um, we'll get unbreaking when beheading and sharpness and all that. We'll make a really OP knife out of that. So that's one project down. Next project. Open. Open. There we go. We're not going to do that quite yet. Oh, there we go. We're going to walk out here. A little bit more space. All right. Then this Hermitron case. This here. I had um, Darth come by last night and try this. So he killed me and he got this. Wait for it. It should have changed already. That's supposed to turn to my skin. Why isn't it? Oh. And we'll leave it there. It'll change. I have an idea with those two, but that requires me to kill every single player <laughs> on this server. Just to get their statues. Okay. So what we have going on here is a few different loot bags. I haven't looked in them yet. See, so it says, ooh, what could be inside? Haven't opened them. We have, these are for our quests and then our uh, weapon cases, first edition, second edition, a bow case, and a balls, a ring case. We're going to open up this isohedron, isohedron, yep, yeah, um, at the end of the episode. It'll probably kill me, but, oh no! Big. Well, I claim chunks, and I don't think creepers can blow up and claim chunks if you have it protected. Okay, so we'll open up that at the end of the episode. So we have this stuff in our inventory. Let's go to quests. Getting started. So, 64 dirt. I have that in my inventory. And down here, close claim. So, a Certus Course shovel. Next. 64 cobble. I got that as well. Gives us a furnace and a rare, rare loot bag. Got that. And six chests. Oh, I need 64 clay. I don't have that one. I guess I'm opening a loot bag now. Great. Let's go back. What did. What is this one? Oh, the eight blank patterns and a part builder. I did that. That would have given us our slime sling. Oh, well, we crafted it, so no big deal. And we got a pattern chest. We already have that. That's the reason why I like doing these, because it gives you items to help you progress. So that's going to be next. <laughs> what do we have? Oh, here we go. The colossal chest walls. I have I built a bunch of these and the... Uh, access point so I might build that off cam and then show you it's kind of tedious you have to place all these down in a chest pattern like actually build the physical chest show you guys a little bit of that hang on so I got 10 more uh, colossal chest walls for that and then this one's gonna take a little bit I don't have that stuff yet we'll get there um, oh I have this in stuff yep oh I wondered did it shove all this stuff out I don't see anything okay so I'm gonna put oh there's a weapon case I opened up so it's the red sword it's broken eh common only nine attack damage and I'll save it for now and block of iron Slime sling. I already have one, so we'll put that up there. Don't need that right now. I got a spider pet. This is really handy. Uh, I need to get some more. His uh, food. He's out of food. You see the bar there. His favorite food is raw meat. He gives you jump boost, wall climb, and you can hang on the walls. And occasionally he'll give you string. I don't need this. Toss. 
I'll keep the patterns and all this stuff here. All right. This sword is almost broken. I've been using this a lot. It's only got 86 durability left. That's why I'm going to hang on to this for now. Okay. Now let's get that access point here. See, so yeah, I've built a bunch. Let's put those in here. All right. Back to the quest log. We'll protect that. I have it. Does not like me. Complete. Flame. Oh, there we go. Two lapis seeds, two ender lily seeds, two diamond seeds, and two glowstone seeds. Oh, yeah. We can make diamonds now. Okay. Oops. And let's see. What's this one? What core could you ask for? Colossal chest core made of, it looks iron. Okay. I'm not going to do that right now. And then the drawers, drawer controller, and an interface. Okay, so we did a few of those. Now we're going to open up these cases. Let's open up the uh, bow case first. Here it comes. What are we going to get? Let's get something good. Come on. Give me something good. It's common. Star shot. Not sure. I'll keep it. We'll see. Next, let's open up the first edition weapons cases. What are we going to get? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Need something good. Phantom. Uncommon, so it's a little bit better. Damage is 11. Nice. Blaze Guard. Hmm. Nine. I like that one. All right. Now let's open up the second edition weapons cases. See what we get. Come on, give me something good. Oh, that's a cool looking one. A saber. Nine. Phase blade. Nine. Hmm. Look at that though. Durability is 1800. This is only 650. So that's actually not too bad. Nine attack. Wow. 2143 durability. Or this one had 2000. So that was another good one. But we'll keep those around for now. Alrighty, let's open up this ring. This will go into our bobble slot. And usually these are pretty good. I want the Jordan. That's not the Jordan. The Pearl. The Jordan is the best one. It gives you some insane abilities. This gives us jump boost 2 and speed 2. And I'll watch my field of view when I put this on. Look at that. Now, a little bit faster. Quite a bit faster, actually, when I run. And then jump boost. Oh, wow. Nice. That'll come in handy. I would jump three blocks. Looks like two. I don't know why this isn't working. That should come up with my skin. That's a bummer. Uh, it's a glitch. Okay. That I'm going to put back into this because I don't want to lose it. Put these swords in here. It's almost dead, so I'll leave that one out. Come on. I'll put this up there. Where'd all my diamond seeds and stuff go? Oh, I can only pick one, and I pick lapis. <sighs> Dang it. I thought I got all of those. Oh, I should have picked the diamond seeds. An idiot. Okay, let's open up these loot bags. Come on, give me something good. Nope. Come on, come on. Iron spikes, we already have some of those. Rare. Fool's head. I want to see what that one turns into. And then with epic. Oh, I got a bunch of these too. Endearing ingots, those are handy. All right, let's see what this is a skull head no yeah it's a skull head but it changed for some reason you know I wonder if it's because I'm in the claim chunk let me go out of a claim chunk and see what happens with that 
claimed a lot of land here, and I probably should just unclaim it. Oh, there's the lag. Yep, see, now... Hmm. I'm outside of a claim chunk, but now it's still not working. That's weird. It's got to be my connection with the server. It's all I can think of. We'll deal with that for now. I'm sure we'll get it figured out. All right. I started in with the mystical agriculture. It's pretty time intensive to get all this stuff. So easy, quick magmatic generators, which really easy to make. This one here. So it's just lava bucket, redstone, some gold with a furnace generator, which is this here and a machine block. Pretty easy. So I made a few of those. And I just haven't done the inner tank because no inner pearls to do a link. An inner tank to link to the nether with uh, um, a pump to pump automatically pump in here. So I've just been bringing buckets and buckets and buckets up here. I put my matic in here. Because it is unbreakable, so it never uses durability and just keeps collecting. I have a second farming station. I haven't made an unbreakable matic yet. Yeah, I'm on. So I put a diamond one in here. It works too. Um, I made four farming stations, but I didn't, don't have enough power or cables yet. Put this third one over here. It's not hooked up. Um, what I was doing before is just going around and farting on them. Doing this all over the place. This right here is really satisfying. Vein mining this wheat, gone. What I'm going to do is store those seeds in here for now. Okay, you can only hold 16 there, so I'm going to plant these real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I've planted all the wheat, and that bit gave us just over a stack. And let's go back over here. I actually already went to the nether too. I wanted to wait for everybody and go with, but I needed the lava. So I already went to the nether. I just put it in this room. I thought there would be a, a little building for it with that out the back. In our uh, work area here, uh, not only all this, I added some other stuff. So I added a sag mill, which will break stuff down. I was using it for bread. So it'll turn my bread into wheat flour. And occasionally, because of this, uh, the flint over here gives it uh, secondary drops, will give us seeds. But it also increases our drops there. So then that sends it through some pipes down below into this guy here. It's an uh, alloy smelter. I needed that to make some other stuff like the tanks and all that. So I also got a double layer capacitor, which is two of the basic capacitors with some energetic alloy and some pulverized coal. Now, once it's done there, it pumps it. Oh, I need an induction smelter too. It pumps it up into here, giving us the bread. But I needed access down here every once in a while. That's why I did this. Because sometimes stuff gets stuck in there. Okay. But I made some access points. And I just dumped my coal in here to go into the uh, coal generator, which it looks like I need more coal. So this goes into the coal generator, which powers these three machines. And I've been using it to cook a bunch of stuff up. Oh, I got another uh, spawner here, another uh, induction smelter, a slice and splice so I can make the farming stations. That took a little bit of time. I need to make solarium, which is why I needed the um, this guy here, the uh, induction smelter. So to get the solarium. And machine chassis is pretty simple, right? So that, that was to make the farming stations. And once I get everything set up, I'll actually have power cables running everything, have all the all the stuff. All the stuff lined out. Okay. And I made some more machine blocks here. Bunch of stuff. Just prepping. Okay, so that's this building. What was I doing? I need to get some raw food, some raw meat, so I can show you what this spider pet does. I found this out in my travels. If you have the spider pet equipped, where'd he go? Gives you jump boost, climbing on walls, and string. But it also makes you a little faster. So, 
I should have some food up here. Some raw meat. There we go. I'll give him some chicken. Alright, he's gonna eat that. Nom 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 nom. But he ate one. Okay. Now, see, I can actually climb walls now. Makes it a little hard to get out of the doors. Come on. Alrighty. So, let's see. Come on. Out the... Out the door. Okay. So, we already have jump boost on because of this ring. So, we'll take the ring off. And our jump boost will go away. See? One block. Put the spider back in here, and then we'll get jump boost back. Okay. Not only that, we can take our slime boots off if we wanted to, because you get feather falling. Or you don't take any damage while when you fall. But you don't you shouldn't take any damage. So I like the slime boots because you get that extra bounce, right? So without the spider pet, so hopefully I don't glitch this time. We'll do this. Hold down our uh, run button. And I, there's the glitch. A little lag. So we hold down our run button and we go back like this, right? Maybe. Pretty quick. And then we lag. However, we put the spider pet on. The jump boost helps us quite a bit. Not only that, we can shift when we fall and not take any damage. Oh my gosh. This lag is going to be the death of me, man. Don't need the seeds. Don't want that. Don't want that. Okay, so with the uh, spider pet and the slime sling, sling, let's try this out. Much quicker. And lag. Much quicker. Okay, take three. Much quicker. You actually fly quite a ways too. I just can't get it to work. Oh, that guy. Alrighty. Alright, one more time. Go away, skeleton. Oh, I was holding shift that time and I wasn't holding the run button. Alright. Here we go. Frustrating. So you can climb up walls. I want to try it with the ring on too. We get even more jump boost. No, nope. jump boost doesn't stack. Well, so spider pellets, we can climb up walls. I just want this to work. Anyway, trust me, it's faster. Before the update, I was using it and just flying around the map. It was so much fun. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to take the spider pet off for now. I also set up this over here. A little mini farm with... I don't want to use that. An iron cow. And it's got a mechanical user under there. Um, mechanical user with empty buckets. You click entity, right click, upper left slot only. Then it's white listed in here to there, let's go. extract the molten iron buckets on brown. And then insert just plain buckets. And then on this side, it's the exact opposite. Oh, I need to go back. I'm going to screw everything up. And it goes into this fluid tank. And from the fluid tank, it goes out to this casting basin, which makes iron blocks. And once that fills up, it sends it up here. And we get iron blocks. Um, and I did that because I needed a bunch of iron, and I got tired of going down and mining everything. So that's that set up. And we got a skeleton. Go away, skeleton. your bones uh, like I said I've been pretty busy just getting stuff all set up to do an episode um, 
I made this automatic to in between. So with this redstone clock, I have anything? I'll put some ores in there and show you. So let's put some gold. Once this gold smelts, it will go in here, come out as this just every couple ticks it'll go off and it'll start pouring into the ingot cast and then it transfers down underneath over to my chest and that's where I get all my ores from let's see let's wait for this to uh, smelt okay there we go now it's casting and see it disappears you come over here all right, it should be right here you'll see 62 pop up in just a second Maybe. Maybe. Oh, there you go, 64. I just had to exit out. So that's that all set up. Um, I'm going to try and get moved to the new base. Um, I'm having issues, can't open my journey map right now. I'm not sure if the server needs to be reset again or what's going on. But we'll get that figured out. Uh, I'd like to show you where it's at, but it's off in... It's north of here, um, quite a ways off up over that way. That's my death over there at the uh, base. I should have set a waypoint, but I didn't. Anyway, it's probably over 4,000 blocks north of here. There's a nice, nice area for some designs I want to do. Um, so next time we'll have that going. Um, hopefully I'll have at least one building and half of my stuff built up over there. So for now, I hope you enjoyed this small episode and have a great and safe Halloween, everyone. Don't forget to check out the other Primers channels. Their links are in the description down below. If you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscri subscribing for more content. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.